At the School of Infantry West on base at Camp Pendleton, there's a small white chapel that's been a landmark here since 1953. It's a place where Marines of many religious backgrounds meet for weekday classes and religious services on Sundays. Uh, this is a historic building really and it's co come into some disrepair and so this is an opportunity for us to put things back in order, beautify the grounds around the chapel as well. On April 28th, the Day of Community Service across the state of California was organized by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is the annual Mormon Helping Hands Day, and on this day nearly a hundred people came from Carlsbad and Oceanside to give the Caruso Memorial Chapel a makeover. Senior Navy Chaplain, Lieutenant Commander Joseph Dufour calls this a beautiful project. You know, we sometimes come to these projects and it's moving dirt around, we're cleaning up weeds, and when it's all done, it, it looks better. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But today, it's a, it's a major transformation. It's not just going to look better. This is a transformation that's going to last, I mean, for decades. Carlsbad LDS Church Stake President Stephen Pines says the simple reason for volunteering is to give back. Service is important in many different ways. One, of course, it, it means we're participating in the community. We're part of the community. And it really is derived from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, we believe that, that we should serve one another. I had the opportunity to serve, and I came out. I love to serve. I love service. This historic chapel was named in honor of a Marine, Lieutenant Matthew Caruso. He was in charge of protecting his chaplain in 1950 during the Korean War when they came under enemy fire. And Matthew Caruso actually did that. He gave his life in order to save the chaplain. Chaplain Trujillo says the Caruso Memorial Chapel is an icon on base and is long overdue for these extensive renovations. They've got uh, some colors in there that don't seem to match and so making everything match, making everything brighten it up, making it a little bit more lively is something that really needed today. The volunteers painted the inside to cover up old paneling and then a few brave ones climbed tall ladders to repaint the chapel walls above the paneling. Fifteen large window screens were repaired and the front entryway was redone and painted. A major part of the renovation was pulling out overgrown plants and then putting in new landscaping. A group of young Marines who live nearby this chapel also pitched in to help. Ended up helping build the wall over there, plant some of the trees, and had fun doing it. You got friends around you, you can laugh and joke, still get work done, be proud I actually did something that's going to be around for a while. Over 1,600 hours of volunteer time before and during the project made it a success. The before and after pictures show how much the improvements have changed the chapel's look. Chaplain Dufour says he's grateful for the effort of these volunteers. No, just to how much appreciation we have here. This is uh, wonderful. It really is. In about a week from now, when people drive by and they look, it's going to be like, wow, that chapel. There's a chapel there. On base at Camp Pendleton, I'm Judy Chauncey.